I'm doing the mountains to sea trail. You wanna you wanna say something? Go for it. Ain't life about just living and being happy. Yes, it is. Ain't that all that matters? That's so true. Hey, however you make it happen is how you make it happen. That is how you make it happen. That was too perfect. I had to put it in. It was like, can I just say something on your channel? I'm like, sure, why not? Well, I'm hiking from Roseboro to Burgaw. Should be about a hundred miles or so. I'm not expecting it to take very long, maybe three, three and a half days or so. A lot of roads, but there will be some trail. There's a couple of small ponds I'll be walking past. So hopefully they'll be nice, unless the mosquitoes get me first. Welcome back to school. I don't like that welcome. Oh. Not a good day. Just like that, we're in Spanish moss territory again. Well, I'm heading into Beaver Dam Fire Department, and I just want to give them a special thank you. They're hooking me up with a place to stay, so that way I don't get attacked by the mosquitoes. <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> Oh man, just hanging out here, got a shower, got my laundry done. This place is amazing. Just leaving the fire station a little late this morning, but I'll be back because Beaver Creek Fire Station actually offered to come pick me up and bring me back here so I'd have a place to sleep and a shower. Oh my gosh, I can't even believe that trail magic. <laughs> They're just so nice especially in a section like this where it's just long road walks. So this is gonna help my morale a lot. Heading off the highway for a little bit and going through some game lands. So this is a nice change. Uh-oh. <laughs> Those tracks look familiar. Well, nothing's marked out here on the game lands. Looking at my guide, I'm on some other random road that's paralleling the other road I'm supposed to be on. So I'm gonna keep going on this and hopefully there's some kind of an intersection. This is where you just figure it out. Well, not sure how, but I ended up back on the MST. And here we go. And that is Horseshoe Lake. Not that you can see it makes a horseshoe. Um, well, there we go. Non-potable water. I hope it doesn't kill me because it's all they had. <laughs> uh oh. Oh no, little guy. <laughs> I don't think I want to take a shower with you. Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. Look at that guy. Yeah, there you go. Be free. Well, I just was dropped off by Gary and Eva from the Beaver Dam Fire Station. They were so incredible. They let me stay at the fire station for a day to let my legs heal, to help me get some video editing done. So now I'm back at White Oak and I'm headed for Jones Lake. It's about 20 miles and it's much cooler today. So hoping to get it done quickly. Ah, oh, happy to be off the roads, headed to Jones Lake, enjoying this beautiful weather that I had this morning. The temps haven't gotten crazy hot yet. I'm just loving life right now. I tell you, you put the uh, umbrella up high, mosquitoes seem to be attracted to the heat on the umbrella and less on you, which is nice. Made it to Jones Lake and this is their little exhibit hall. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Jones's Lake was actually a segregated lake until the 1960s. Look at the canoe carved out of a log. <laughs> Very cool. Ooh, 
little bleed off there. Very anxious to get off of this highway and make my way around White Lake. The sugar shack. Don't judge me. Don't look at me like that. It's hot out. I deserve it. Mm -hmm. I'm happy scallywag. And there is the lake. A little harder to see, but this is as close as I get. Well, made it through White Lake, and now I'm heading off the highway, and I'm gonna take a little dirt road over here around Singletary Lake. Oh my God, that's funny. Gary, my trail angel, as in Gary and Eva from the fire station, is actually a pilot. And so since I gave him my little GPS tracker, he was able to find me and flew his plane over my tent. That is so funny. And I thought I found a great stealth spot. <laughs> Headed down the dirt road, trying to escape these mosquitoes, but they keep catching up on me. And it actually makes me not want to hike on trails. <laughs> I'll soon be around Singletary Lake and then I'll get my wish, highway walking. Finally, I'm getting to hike by the lake. Look at this, they even have a pier. And here is Singletary Lake right off of the pier. It's just a gorgeous lake. pumpkin patch. October is just around the corner. Well, it's hot this afternoon. I just left Kelly and the Kelly General Store had just the whole town there and they were so awesome asking me questions. They were so nice. Oh my gosh. And if I had gotten here later, I could have stayed at the Kelly Museum, but uh, I'm gonna press on and maybe do 10 more miles. Weight limit, six and a half tons. Dang it, I'm gonna have to find another way. Piggies. Cute. Well guys, I'm making a slight change here. The way the route had me going, it was kind of like going down and then around and up. It was gonna merge with the same roads that I've been walking. And I just don't feel like doing all this out of the way stuff. So I'm kind of gonna just make my own route here and make a direct shot to Burgaw. I don't know why they're adding extra roads to this trip. Less roads, more trail, goodness. Made it to the Moores Creek National Battlefield. And according to my guide, you take this trail all the way down, make a loop around the battlefield, and come right back out this same trail and head down this highway still. I'm sorry, but if it's not offering any progression miles forward, I don't see the point in doing it. I'm sure it's a beautiful trail, but it's not actually going forward for me. The way my guide showed me, I was supposed to go north on this one road and then cut east into Burgaw, but it was gonna add like seven miles to my trip. I think between yesterday and today, just taking the straight shot to Burgaw, I've cut off like 10 miles of road walking. I know a large part of this trail is on roads, but to add more road to it that's unnecessary, it just doesn't make any sense to me. But I would encourage anyone interested in hiking a long distance route that does include road walking, it's just a route, man. If there's a better way to hike it, hike it that way. Made it into Burga. Now to resupply the Piggly Wiggly. Goodness, do they need that many vending machines? Mm. Deep fried pork tenderloin. And this is why I hike for the gluttony. Well, another hundred miles in the bag. Roseboro to Burga and a lot of road walking. I did skim past a few lakes though. Didn't swim in them. Really, I think I'm just getting ambitious to finish this thing out, but I only have 300 more miles left, so that's exciting. I think the highlight for me on this section was definitely Gary and Eva from the Beaver Dam Fire Station. Man, they were the sweetest trail angels. And the highlight on top of that was when I got a text message from Gary. I'm about to fly over you in a minute. I look out my tent and I see his plane fly over. So I want to give a big shout out to Gary and Eva and the Beaver Dam Fire Station. You guys are just incredible. For anyone else that would like to contribute to my journey, 
I have links in the description below. And if you haven't yet, it does really help if you hit subscribe. Well, I'm Scallywag, your favorite vagabond, staying trashy, but keeping it classy. And I'll see you next time.